to Alberta now and the fate of Premier Danielle Smith. Her leadership now in the hands of United Conservative Party members. Thousands have traveled to Red Deer to have their say on the direction of the province's governing political party. Here's CTV's Kathy Lee. It will be a pivotal moment for the Alberta Premier. Danielle Smith's United Conservative Party members will soon decide if she stays on as their leader. I think she's done a great job. Experts suggest Smith will need more than 70% support, but even getting that doesn't guarantee anything. In the last 20 years, several premiers, particularly the Conservatives, were forced out of office by their own party shortly after their leadership reviews. Jason Kenney, Ralph Klein, Ed Stelmack, Alison Redford, all taken out in some various fashion by the leadership reviews. In recent months, Smith has toured the province speaking to party supporters, critics saying the focus more on the party and not the province to keep her base from voting against her during the review. They have pushed harder than we've seen party members in any Alberta party in recent memory push. Members will also be debating and voting on 35 policy resolutions. The leadership review comes after three contentious bills were introduced in the legislature. These amendments are about being fair and supporting children and youth. If passed, the bills will prohibit sex reassignment surgery for minors, restrict access to puberty blockers for Albertans under 16, force schools to notify parents if their child wants to change their name or pronoun, and ban transgender participation in female sports. This is the most restrictive legislation we've seen in the country. As for the AGM, nearly 6,000 UCP members are expected to attend. Their leadership vote is tomorrow. Kathy Lee, CTV News, Calgary.